not just what you came through and what you made it through that makes you a threat to hell. Uh -uh. What? It's actually you came through. That's what makes the devil fearful. He's I did everything to stop you. I got you sick. I got you divorced. I took your home from you. But you still went through. The very fact you're here means you're winning. Hallelujah. Here's the good thing about testimony. It's your personal testimony. It's yours. You own it. You didn't copy it. You didn't borrow it. You didn't imitate it from somebody. It's your personal testimony. You know why? Because it was your personal pain. My heartbreak, my fear, my confusion, my loss. There were times that I didn't even think I could make it. There's times that you think that your mind has consumed every bit of information, every bit of pain, every bit of suffering, every bit of aggravation, every bit of depression. It's consumed with all of that. And you're ready to feel that your brains are going to pop. When you're here, you made it. Speak to somebody. Those drugs didn't kill you. That alcohol didn't destroy your liver. God healed it. You made it. Come on, church. You know what I'm talking about. The loss of that job. The loss of that house. You made it. You're here. Or you're watching. You should have died from that disease. But God. You should have died from that accident. But God. The miracle benefits you. But your testimony benefits everybody around you. I'm speaking to the lives of some of you. Because God is about ready to turn some things around for you. God is about ready to deliver you and put the sword or the word in your hand. And to use it for the kingdom of God. The sword is the word of God. And the word of God that proceeds out of your mouth will bring healing, deliverance, salvation to those that are beckoning for more of something. I come to tell you there is. His name is Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him.